our sun is bigger than your sun. So we can be a little bit further away and still be in that Goldilocks zone, as your scientists have called it. We are the Blading Council. We thank you for allowing the transmission to take place, for allowing the growth and adventurous spirit of excitement to carry through you, ushering our world into this new dimension of experience. Um, I have a couple more questions about life in the Pleiades. Do you have male and female individuals, or do you have more genders or types of individuals? We have male and female individuals. We have people who change from one gender to the other spontaneously without requiring surgery. We have people that are very much in between these genders. We have, yes, in that sense, visible third gender individuals in our world, though we don't see it as a system of opposites and strictly defined labels. We connect with each other at soul level, recognizing that that original seed of duality and polarity that manifests as masculine and feminine energies permeates all levels of creation, but also the oneness of all permeates all levels of creation. So we don't really get stuck in these labels and ideas about gender in the way that you do in your world. Is your interior biology similar to humans? Do you have a heart and a blood? Do you breathe air? What kind of air? Um, do you have brains, bones, muscles, digestion, senses? Can you tell us more about your biology and how it compares to humans? The composition of the air in our world is different, though we do breathe on oxygen. There's other different elements that we breathe in that we can assimilate that might challenge humans at first. We have the same sorts of organs as humans. Our DNA is very similar. Our brains have grown significantly uh, since uh, in comparison to yours. But beyond that, we are quite similar with a couple of differences. Can you describe some of the animals in your home planets? Oh, there are certain animals that are our friends in the same way that you have pet. We have friends and we are still good friends with animals like horses, dogs, cats of different kinds, but even animals that you haven't fully befriended, like relatives, not necessarily exactly the same as, but related to what you know as foxes, deers, rabbits, various sorts of smallish mammals, raccoons, all of these being behave in a different way towards us and have evolved with us while repeating their animal form. They act more consciously through the dimensional vibration of our planet. So we live more in harmony with them. They are more social towards us. We do have to express some boundaries with them because sometimes they can invade the space when we want to do particular sorts of things. There are also sorts of animals that we couldn't fully explain perfectly to you, but they do exist on our world. There is actually other somewhat advanced races in our world. There are relatives of octopi in our world who support the planet on many psychic levels. 
and are part of a force field of protection. We don't generally communicate with them physically, except when we go on retreats to our ocean, and we might see them and exchange some telepathic, telepathic energies with them. But we know we are very much connected with them, and they are a little bit more advanced than those on your world. Now, also, there are other sorts of beings that live in the forest that you would consider cryptic beings, and they are... crossing into many different dimensional thresholds that we meet them upon. We have been very interested in their world at times, and at other times we have simply left them to their own devices and expressed gratitude for the wisdom that they carry and what we can exchange with each other. Do you have rain? And then do you have like hats or umbrellas or other forms of protection against the weather? Oh, we do have rain, but we know exactly when it's going to happen and we are prepared for it always. Do you travel locally for tourism or for pleasure, for entertainment? Yes, well, we go with specific purposes for diversion, for rituals, for learning, for family and friends. Just as you do. Do you have holidays? We have specific holidays based on ancient religious festivals and, and this kind of thing. Do you have holidays personally or collectively? Every day of the holiday, yes. Every day of the holiday, though we do honor and observe the cycles of the planet and the two moons that orbit our planet. So, eclipses can occur at different times, but they're on two different trajectories because of the two different moves. And then there's always a more distinct energy offer as the moon is affecting the tides, but on our planet with three natural bodies of light and many other artificial, you might say, bodies of light that we've created, we are able to experience different and more distinct shifts in energy with more simultaneous ways, if that makes sense to you. What do you do for fun or recreation? especially as you live very long lifetimes. All of it is fun. We just do what's appropriate when it's appropriate. It's fun for us to learn and explore. It's fun to us for us to have festivities. It's fun for us to go to markets. It's fun for us to enjoy nature. It's fun for us to do rituals and create healing and expansion of spiritual energy. It's fun for us to travel and meet other races. It's fun for us to be diplomats and peacemakers at a galactic level. It's fun for us to travel dimensionally out of our body in the space that we exist within and reach for higher vibration through psychic practices. All of these things are exciting for us. We are always very excited and very enthused. Our lives are such a permanent joy and openness. As you are community telepathic, do you have any forms of media, films, cinema, television, anything like that? We do have these things to enjoy them. And we also understand that in the creative process, codes are put into creative works. And so the sensation on a physical level can be connected with the psychic sensation in the same way that you pick up on subtle energies from particular films. And particular films like The Matrix has left a deep imprint on your social consciousness, leading you to integrate new ideas, new archetypes of the species. 
creativity has that power and we recognize it as having that power. So we don't just watch with our eyes alone. We tune in psychically with our creations and allow them to be experiences on multidimensional levels as well. And the art of doing that is also known as one embraces the creative path for those who choose that in our world. Well, thank you very much. I think we're complete. And I wish you a very best moment of your time. On the spaceship of Babel, we are guiding through the stars on a 5 year mission beyond Jupiter and Mars, a celestial encounter on a future now as arc, and you both hear us coming as we whisper in the dark. There's an Ewok just behind me as we try to disembark here And hope you can know me as we whisper in the dark I am lying at a scene.